everyone, Arlen here. Welcome back to my Country Craft Corner, my Arlen's Travel Channel, and a big welcome to those of you in the Alaska group on Facebook who might be watching this too. How are you guys doing today? <laughs> uh, for those on my Country Craft Corner, YouTube, hi again you guys, and in the Alaska group too, I am sorry for my absence. For this past few days in the Alaska group and for my this last week in my Country Craft Corner group, uh, we had a precious family member, my Uncle Bob, pass away. It'll be a week tomorrow that he passed away. And out of respect for my entire family and to give myself time to mourn, I did not post any videos. And so I'm going to start posting again with this video and I'm starting my pre-cruise report <laughs> here on Facebook or uh, here on YouTube but I wanted to take a moment and thank every single one of you guys in the Alaska group first for all of your sweet messages Pam thank you for for putting up that sweet announcement and thank you guys for all of your messages your love your hugs everything thank you so much it meant a ton to me thank you so much and for those of you on YouTube who have reached out to me thank you so much I'm still here I'm still functioning I've not been doing obviously any crafting or anything but as I said I am gonna start back with my videoing here today and I'm going to start with a little informational video to show you what I put in my carry-on and I want to go through my what I call my must-haves let me preface this by saying just because these are my must-haves I don't I would never expect that they would be your must-haves either please use all of my information as a, you know a bit of a template to go by if you will and I'll just show you what I take and then maybe you can gain some things from that or take away obviously from that and make up your own list again I will say I'm not a minimalist <laughs> I'm nothing against minimalists I, I respect you guys most definitely and wish I could be more like that but then again I don't really want to be like that because I like what I like to take and uh, we're used to what I take so I just go with it all right let's get started first thing I'll start with my carry-on and this is the bag that I use for my carry-on and a lot of you have already seen this bag but I will I am going to go through this for those who might not have seen this this is a Vera Bradley campus backpack now you cannot find this particular backpack on the Vera Bradley site right now what they sell now is a Vera Bradley tech backpack which I would love to have you know that'd be spiffy but I I'm not going to go buy a new one when I have this beautiful bag as you can see it is also embroidered with my initials so I really really like this bag and you're also going to see that I'm a geeky person and like a little bling on my carry-on as well all those pins that you see are my captain circle pins and some ship pins one of which was a gift thank you so much you know who you are <laughs> and also uh, a couple of pins from places that we've been that's the 50 uh, year anniversary this thing is heavy so and also that's a Caribbean pin we're also going to the Caribbean <laughs> coming up so but anyway this is for my Alaska trip this is my pre-cruise report for my Alaska trip so uh, what I'm taking is kind of geared around pretty much all of our cruises but some there are a few things that I'll show you that I don't necessarily need to take to Alaska so let's go through this bag and I'll show you what I typically carry on to the plane in the first in the front pocket I just have a, a little uh, notepad usually I take notes with my cell phone of course but you know just in case I really somebody needs a piece of paper I want to write something down that you know or my phone isn't available or it's out of juice or something like that I always like to have like a little pad of paper just a notepad just in case 
So that's in the front, very front pocket. That's typically where I stick my phone to because this doesn't have like just a, well, it does have the, these pockets on the side, like a water bottle could fit into, but I typically will stick my phone in that front pocket. And let's see, next I have another front pocket that unzips. And in this pocket, you'll see I have a little bit of that wispy Max Fresh little toothbrushes that kind of come with, you know, a little bit of uh, Colgate toothpaste and whatnot in them. Two going, two coming, two going, two coming back. Uh, but it also has slots for pens over here. And uh, if you want to put your ID, it has a place for that and so on. So, I also take extra pens, and I'm sure to take highlighters, and I'll go through that in a second and tell you why I take highlighters with me. And then I just have a glasses case in here. I think this is a brush case from Vera. This, oh, by the way, this uh, pattern is called uh, Midnight Paisley. And this is Parisian Paisley. So this is my favorite. I really love this. Anyway, all right, and this is an old pattern that I can't even remember. <laughs> but that's just a glasses case, a double glass. You could fit two pairs of like reading glasses in or a little pair of sunglasses. I, you know what? I can fit a pair of sunglasses and reading glasses in these eyeglass cases. I don't know about you guys, but my sunglasses are too big and fat to fit both they could either fit just the sunglasses or just the reading glasses but not both so anyway but there we go that's the front pocket and then on the interior in the interior i will say that this bag is a bit padded on the back not not like a tech bag would be though first thing i have in here is a new this is actually a new computer uh, sleeve because as you guys know i got a new computer a couple weeks ago and uh, we've been really working with that and I'm going to take my 15 inch, my new 15 inch with me and this is just about I'll, I'll put links for everything that is linkable in the description of this video uh, and just to let you know I am monetized on YouTube but I don't make specific monies from whatever links you might click so just to tell you that but this is from Kaon, and I just got it from uh, Amazon cheap. It was like $15. It wasn't very expensive at all. And I have to be honest with you, I had this with me uh, when I went for my uncle's memorial service, bless his heart. And this, the, the, as you can see, the inside is the, ba the uh, zipper is not the greatest. So I'm not sure I'll take this one with me. I don't need it falling apart on me. So anyway, but if you'd like to try it, it's $15 and it's pretty, it's nicely made. I mean, it's, you know, it's just that one zipper and it might just be mine that has a little problem. So there, my computer will obviously go with me. Then I have a double zip cosmetic bag and this is from Vera as well. Got a zipper in the front and a zipper in the back. And this is where I keep all my cords. There is behind that zipper in here a place to put your cords, but I typically carry them separately because I don't want that bag to be big and fat. I want it to lay kind of flat. So this, I tend to pile in front, you know, of that bag. So double zip cosmetic bag. And then I take my headphones. And these are just from Sony, and I think they're noise canceling uh, earphones. I use these around here a lot uh, to do my videos. If Chris is watching TV in the evening, I'll put these on and work on my videos, editing and whatnot. So there's that. And then I usually take a little, um, just out of my way for a second here. <laughs> A little cos or this is a small cosmetic bag, but it's just a little grab bag of you know like a, co a uh, compact, a mirror which the compact has in it. So I would probably just take the compact. I'm not sure why this mirror is in here, but uh, you know hand cream, some extra band aids, lipstick, you know, visine. 
I will stick Crisper's contact, so I would stick his contact solution in here and a little bit of Tylenol or Advil, something, you know, just anything to get you to your destination. You know, and I, of course, I think of every scenario and then some, <laughs> but you know, little grab bag. And then I take an easy as pie crossword and I keep, I keep forgetting I have to order some more of these. And I can do harder crosswords than this, absolutely, but I like the easy ones. I don't want to tax my brain when I'm on vacation, you know. So, and I also like that it's a spiral kind of notebook. So when you open it up and, you know, fold it back, you're not having to worry about a fold or, you know, uh, pinch it open, you know, kind of just lays open like that, so. Easiest pie crossword, super duper easy. Got it off of Amazon. Then I take, uh, this time I'm gonna take, I have no, not taken, done this before now, but I will tell you, before this trip, but I will tell you I'm going to do it this time. Folks, you know, as I said, I'm in this Alaska uh, Princess Facebook group. And a lot of you guys have mentioned that you do take some extra clothing, like one extra change of clothes in your carry-on, just in case something happens to your suitcases. So that's what I plan on doing this time. This is the smallest of my set of shack pack packing cubes. And I will easily, trust me, you guys, easily be able to fit one outfit in here. I could probably fit three outfits in that, no kidding. Maybe two, maybe not three, maybe two. This is the smallest of the of the pack. So I will be taking one cube, one small packing cube of a change of clothes. Also too, if I go on a trip and I wanna take some nicer jewelry with me, I don't recommend that. But when I do it and I choose to take it with me, I do use a little uh, you know, jewelry case. This is from 31. And it has a couple little snaps up here that you can snap a necklace onto or whatever, you know. But I keep this in my carry-on with me. If I take, you know, I have another case I'll show you in a little bit that I will put my other things in. But, you know, my, like, my state, statement necklaces or necklace like this or something that doesn't cost anything. Although, this necklace means a ton to me because I've had it for, honestly, 25 years. A long, long time. So, anyway, so I take a jewelry case. And then I take a folder, and let me show you this. I'm already preparing this for our trip, so I'm not gonna show you that. But this is, and I, take, I not only take a folder in my carry-on, but I take extras in my checked baggage. And this is what I use it for. The, the folder in my carry-on will be, you know, we'll have our important papers, our travel insurance, our boarding passes, extra luggage tags, so on and so on in that folder. Uh, you know, information that I'm, I need to get to in a moment's notice. But why I take more with me is to hold all of my princess patterns and information that I collect while cruising. As you know, I'm a blogger, and this is an, is an example of a princess pattern, and this is why I take A highlighter. I'm not sure how this got torn on the bottom, but it got torn. But I take a highlighter so that I can highlight, you know, certain events during the day. If I want to go to play bingo, which I never have, <laughs> but I might want to, or go to a trivia game, or go to a movie, or see a lecture, or whatever, you know, I will highlight it to remind myself and so that I can get myself to these little fun little things. So you also get shopping spotlights and when you get into port, you'll get your port guides and all of that. And I save all of this stuff. Like this is a map we got the last time we were in Anchorage. And it just is a map of Anchorage and it gives you all kinds of information. So, you know, this is the type of thing that goes in my folder. 
and I keep the stuff. I don't keep the junky stuff, you guys. I don't. But I do keep things that I think I might want to refer to. You guys in the Alaska group, you don't know how many times I've referred to this specific folder <laughs> to grab information for you guys or to scan something in for you guys. This is a wealth of information for me with my blogging and moving forward, you know, to remind myself what we might like to do or what they have going on on board during the trips. So I love these folders. I will give you a link where you can find three of these uh, folders on Amazon. Invaluable tool for me, for my, for my vacations. All right, so that's it. That's all I take on my care. You know, of course I have my, oh, wait, I'm fibbing. I got my RFID pouch while I was gone. I had ordered this and shown this on the uh, Alaska group a couple of weeks ago. And I wanted to do a little review of this while I'm doing this whole video here so you guys could see this in person. You can see it, you know, how big it is, you know. Uh, it has a front pocket, and it is RFID protected. For those of you who might not be familiar with that, that means that you can put your passports, credit cards, bank cards in this, and nobody can come by and scan for your credit card and get your credit card number and that kind of thing. This, is pro this protects your credit cards. So I'm going to show you the inside. There's my passport, and that fits beautifully down in there. And that's a little pocket there, a little pocket there. I haven't looked real close at this, so forgive me if I'm a little clumsy here. A big pocket that you can slide, you know, like a extra luggage tags, you guys, from Princess in there. They fit in there, folded up, you know. And then on this side, you have room for your credit cards, more room. And then it has a slit there, and then a zipper if you wanted to put some change or something else in there. It's very nice. It's very nice, and this will fit beautifully down into my carry-on. So there we go. That is what I take in my carry-on. And it is a, a bit heavy. It's not too bad, you know. Uh, you know, the worst time for me in the airport is getting to the check to baggage place. Once I get there, what I like about this, too, is you can put it up on both shoulders that has padded padded shoulder, shoulder straps, but you could also just carry it too. It has a nice handle. So there's my luggage tag too. So that's, and I've talked 17 minutes, you guys, just on my carry on. Maybe I should just do two videos, huh? Nah, I think I'll keep going and we'll do the must haves too in this one. So that was my carry on. And as you can see, well, I don't know whether you can see, but I've got two baskets like this that kind of cover my must-haves. So let's start out with this one. I take a bag. This will actually go in my checked luggage. All of this stuff will go in my checked luggage. What you saw in my carry-on will be the only thing that goes on my carry-on. I take a, this is a Vera bag. It's an older one. I don't even know what the pattern is, you guys, to be confetti, maybe, something like that. But it's a plastic, uh, nice bag, really thick. I don't know if you can, really thick plastic. And as you'll see in here, I have bubble wrap, <laughs> extra Ziploc bags. And this is what I carry my breakable cosmetics in, like my perfume and, or any cosmetics that might like have an aerosol with them, my hairspray, you know, things like that in here. And I protect them and I, and I package them two or three times so that if they do burst in my suitcase, I, my clothes are not going to be smelling either like my hairspray or like my perfume. I wear happy perfume and I love the smell of it, but not all over my clothes. So that's one thing I take. Um, I take disposable shower caps because I do not wash my hair every day. So I will take a couple with me. Usually it'll last through more than one wash. I could probably just take one. It would probably last a whole week. But uh, where's my little clip? Hang on. I also take this little clip. Isn't that cute? And what this is, let me see if I can take it apart here real quick. It's just a little clip that I take to 
clip around the towel rack like in the shower and then I clip my shower cap to the little clip so that it drip dries you know that way the steward doesn't need to touch my yucky shower cap and he, he, can, he or she can wipe around it and it drips dry and keeps it nice so just a little a very lightweight little little clip so that's a must-have for me what can I say and let's see I'll go ahead through this bag I have a uh, I think this is a Vera giant cosmetic I can't rightly remember what, th what this is but it has pockets that line both sides and I'll just go through some of these things I'll take a little sewing kit if you go to any travel uh, you know place in your grocery store or Target or Walmart you'll be able to find a little kit like this I do take some hand soap and I do take a regular size hand soap uh, just put at the sink at, in the bathroom uh, I don't like to have like a bar of soap sitting there and getting it suds all over the sink and getting it dirty I'm kind of a clean freak so I like to have a little bit of hand soap with me so I like warm vanilla sugar there from Bath and Body Works so I do take a full a full uh, one of those wash my hands a lot I have Dawn in here I have it stuck in here only because I've used this as you can see I just take a little bit on each trip but I do we do have some princess cups thermos cups that we take with us and we bought these years and years ago these are well used cups I do take two cups Chris gets his coffee and I get my tea and he or actually he gets my tea every morning he goes up to the horizon buffet and gets me some hot water and a tea bag and uh, everything and brings it back to the room and while I'm getting ready I'll sit there and drink my tea but I like to wash these and I don't like using their soap you know to wash them so I take just a, just a bit of Dawn and you know like an, I have some extra like this you know and something like that little bottle there in there so I do take a little Dawn so I can wash my cups and whatever else you know ladies you might need to wash something out you know and might just want to have something you know a little Dawn works for you know a myriad of things I also take this odor eliminating spray this is really good stuff to take care of those not so wonderful odors there are no fans in the bathrooms on the cruise ships so this works as one of my favorite scents sun and sand I also like uh, clean cotton so smells fresh I like fresh smells but that's just me so I take my own soap you don't need to soap is provided uh, also on princess ships they have a combination body wash in one bottle and a combination uh, shampoo and conditioner in another bottle and they hang on the wall in the shower I don't care for their soap and I don't care for their you know their shampoo and conditioner I have color treated hair so I take shampoo I use shampoo that is for color treated hair so I don't use their stuff so I do take this is my new spiffy dove soap that I like and I do take Chris some too because he'd rather use although he will use the ship soap more than I would I don't like it but that's just me again I'm a little quirky <laughs> just a little quirky sometimes so uh, I do take a travel alarm clock I don't take it for the alarm to be awakened unless I have a you know an excursion I usually use my phone for my alarm but I do take an alarm clock that has an illuminated screen so that when I wake up in the middle of the night I can look over at my bedside and see what time it is I have a real problem if I cannot <laughs> see what time it is when I wake up I hate that I hate not knowing what time it is I don't know why it's again I'm quirky so I do this takes two double-a batteries works the whole to work the whole time we were in Hawaii with two double-a batteries that was a 15 nighter so it worked the whole time with just two double-a batteries nice little thing worked worked beautifully it's supposed to be an atomic clock which means that it automatically changes the time when you go into a different time zone we did not find that to be the case when we changed time zones and Chris seemed to think that it was because of all the steel he did take it out on the balcony a couple times I didn't stick around to see if that worked just and he was 
holding it up in the air to see if it works on. I don't know. There was too much steel on the ship. So anyway, I do take that. Uh, somebody in another forum told me that this is supposed to, to prevent norovirus. For those of you who don't know, noroviruses in effect the stomach flu and sometimes can run through these ships. I've not heard a lot I've not heard a lot of it happening on princess ships, but it can happen. And this is supposed to prevent it. Now others have said that doesn't prevent it. Nothing can prevent it but you know washing your hands with warm soapy water and singing happy birthday through twice. Which I do do all the time. But I never am against, you know, taking a uh, an extra precaution. So I do leave this. They have a little little uh, shelf as I go out the door and I will or when I come back in, just spray myself, just to be safe, you know. I will say, uh, another thing a doctor told me was to boost your immune system a week before you go, start taking some vitamin C, extra vitamin C. And he said that will boost your uh, immune system. I don't know whether that works, but I do it every time. And I only got sick coming home from my very first cruise way back in 2007. Since then, I've never gotten sick from on a cruise ship or coming home. So, but I do take precautions. I wash my hands a lot. Uh, like I said, with warm soapy water, singing happy birthday to you all the way through twice. I do it. Honest to goodness, I do. Uh, and I don't use the public bathrooms. Uh, I, if at all possible, I will come back to the, to our stateroom and use the bathroom in there because let's face it, you know, who's been there, what's been done there and so on. In the public bathrooms, ladies, we don't know. The men, you know, y'all don't have such a problem. But the ladies, you know, girls, go back to your stateroom if you can while on the ship. Just a little hint. Uh, did you know that the walls in your stateroom, pretty much on all cruise ships, are metal? So therefore, magnets can stick to them. So I take some clip magnets with me you know, just to hang up a map, maybe. Pam always says her hubby likes to take that big map of, of where they're going to be cruising to. I'm thinking about doing that myself this time. And these would work beautifully for that, for holding up that map. Also, uh, my girlfriend Liz, my sweet friend Liz, who the one who encouraged me to start blogging and whatnot, got me this present the last time I saw her. So I take that of the dog, that's Sam, and the brown newf, and Sophie the black, and Gracie the golden there. It's our dogs. And then before we went to Hawaii, I had this made up for me at uh, Shutterfly.com, just above our family. That's the sentimental part of me. Like I said, use this as a template. You certainly, you know, I know I do some quirky things. Yes. We're just talking about this in the Alaska group this morning, or I just gave a link for this. This is the Monster Power Outlet, or extender, I should say. Princess Cruisers, you are allowed to use something like this. You are not allowed to take like a power strip that is a anything that says surge protector on it, or that has a switch on it. You can't take it. That's against Princess's rules. You can find that in their safety PDF, which you can find if you go to your boarding passes, click on that, and then you're gonna see a whole list of PDFs in there that you can read through and find out a plethora of information. And one thing is their safety PDF. Please take a minute to read through that. But if you take a surge protector, that is a fire hazard and they very, and they very well might take that from you if they see it. Every All your baggage goes through uh, security cameras, you know, so. But this, uh, one of our friends in the Alaska group had called this company and made sure that this was not a surge protector, and it is not. It's got two extra outlets on that side, and one on that side, and two USB ports there. So this is what I'm taking, and we will take a, just a plain old uh, extension cord, because they're allowed. There are laundromats up. Uh, for the passengers on princess ships anyway. If you're cruising with someone else, you could check with that cruise line. But on most passenger decks, there, there is a laundromat. For all the ships <clears throat> I've been on, the Diamond, the Coral, the Star, the Regal, all four ships had laundromats at the aft. Somebody told me, I think the Ruby, might not be, I don't know. Somebody told me that the Ruby might have them more toward the midship. But anyway, when you go in there, 
they have vending machines and in the vending machines you have to use your cruise card and you need to that you'll you'll need to buy tokens out of a vending machine in order to run the washers and run the dryers and it's three dollars for one wash and three dollars for one dry and you buy tokens and then they have another vending machine that has uh, detergents and dryer sheets and each one of those is another twenty dollar twenty five well it's just as easy for me just to stick some Tide Pods in my bag and some Downy uh, that smell really good. This is Amber Blossom. That smell really good uh, that I just put in my suitcase. Also, it makes my, make my clothes smell really good, too. And in the stateroom, I always take a pop-up laundry basket. This thing is, always hits me in the face when I open it. Look out. It's crazy. <laughs> uh, but it, this doesn't weigh as light as a feather. And, uh, the, there's no uh, door to the closet. So you, it's not like you could close up your dirty laundry. I've heard some people put it in a drawer. I don't like to do that either. So I just take this and I keep it in the closet and I put place some of these down in the bottom. So it helps, you know, the smell to kind of keep on an even keel. And... Uh, so I take a pop-up laundry basket. Saves me a little money, and it saves my nerves. <laughs> this does, because I don't like dirty clothes sitting around. I wash almost every, well, we wash every other day here in the house. So that just tells you, I don't like, uh, I don't like to have a lot of dirty clothes sitting around. It's just me again. I'm quirky. All right. <clears throat> I'm going to save these. I just want to show you real quick. This is my cosmetic what I use for my cosmetics, of course, this goes on my check, check luggage. I will go through these more when I go through my luggage and do a packing uh, video. And this is for, my, Kristen got this, my daughter, Kristen, got this for me, along with this, which is a uh, jewelry case. And this is what I was talking about earlier. And this is lovely. It has a... A little sleeve like between the top and the bottom and you can fit you know like your earrings let me see if I can find it your earrings behind there and then your maybe your necklace in front and it has like little pouches and then bigger pouches and it's lovely so I do take this for my you know for my more like my statement necklaces and not so expensive jewelry but you know I like to have a little change a lot of people might not take, and as a matter of fact, on our Canada and New England cruise, I didn't. I took that little jewelry case that I keep in my carry-on, and I only wore one necklace, one silver necklace, and kept the same uh, bracelets, and I switched out my earrings. And I just took earrings. That's all I took. So a lot of people just do that, do very simple things. And I haven't quite decided what I'm doing this year. I very well might take this, and I might not need to take that much. I have a lot of scarves going with me this time, so I very well might not need a lot of jewelry. In fact, I don't think I will. So I'll probably end up just taking that little one, to be honest. But I do have this in the event that I change my mind and I want to dig more. So there are those two things. And let's see what else. Oh, this is important. First, let me go through this. Three more things, a few more things here. I take Clorox disinfecting wipes with me, and we will wipe down the TV remote, the door knobs, the bathroom, the balcony railing, the balcony chairs, you know, arms, uh, the bedside tables, they have shelving in there. We wipe down everything with these. Again, as a preventative measure, not that the ship isn't clean. I very rarely get any kind of dirt on these at all, but you just never know who's touched what where before you got in there. And, you know, we're just taking a precaution and try to keep ourselves healthy. So we do take Clorox wipes. I also take, uh, put our luggage tags in luggage tag holders. These are specifically, were specifically made for Princess Cruises, uh, luggage tags. It's like a sleeve. It's a plastic sleeve. Very heavy. Very nice. Some people don't like uh, the plastic handle like that. I did not have a problem with them. Nothing broke on me. They do sell these with metal rings on them too. Amazon easily found. Just make sure you get ones that will fit your specific cruises 
uh, luggage tags. I think I got a set of like nine of them, eight or nine, something like that. And I still have them all. I didn't lose any. So I was pretty happy about that. Never have actually on every cruise that we've been on. Never have lost a luggage tag. I know other people have. We've just got lucky, knock on wood. We never lost it. Any. This bag is for medications. And I highly recommend that you take extra Tylenol, extra Advil if you use that, uh, cold, a cold medication that works for you. I'm taking my Flonase. Uh, I take a little first aid kit with Band-Aids and ointment and that kind of thing. Um, I take, <laughs> one lady suggested this in the Alaska group. This is like a dental first aid kit. So I did get myself one from Amazon. You break a tooth or crack a tooth or something, you lose a filling, have a little bit of something, something to fix it with. So I do, I'm going to take that this time. Uh, I also take Dramamine and Bonine. I'm, Chris and I do not experience seasickness, thankfully, uh, and we've been in some pretty rough seas. Let me tell you, out in the middle of the Pacific, going to Hawaii, they, it about threw me out of bed one morning. <laughs> it was pretty crazy. And then uh, when we went on our Canada New England cruise last fall, uh, we were right on the tail end of, uh, what was it, Hurricane Matthew, and we had one night, I was sure they were gonna call muster. I was sure of it, but they didn't, thankfully. <laughs> but. And we never got sick, not once. But that doesn't mean, even for somebody who never gets sick, I always go prepared. Because you never know, you guys. You never know when something might hit you. So I do take that. I take a pair of scissors in my checked baggage. Obviously, you're not going to be able to carry these on. But I do take a pair of scissors. Uh, cut strings, cut pair. Who knows? You know, you never know. I always use a pair of scissors. That about covers that. Uh, Chris, I did want to cover uh, prescription medication. I've heard conflicting reports on this. Some people say it's okay. You don't have to take your prescription uh, bottles. Take them in the original bottles. I don't know that I would go without that and doing that. I don't take a prescription medication, though. Chris takes two, and he does take them in his original bottles. Of course, it's only two. So uh, I've heard some people say that just be sure that you have a prescription written out and put it in with your medication and that should be fine. I would check with your air carrier, honestly, and make sure what their rules are if they have rules. Don't go by me. I don't know. I really don't know. Chris takes his own bottles, so that's what we do. I do to have a little bag here and guess what's in here? A very important thing. <laughs> Toothpicks! I always take toothpicks with me. I, one time I was walking around the ship, I don't know which one, but I was like, can I please have a toothpick? Does anybody have a toothpick? I didn't check in the sundry shop. I bet you they have t toothpicks in there. I didn't check that time. I was just so frustrated because <laughs> I couldn't find a toothpick. So from then on, I just keep toothpicks in this little bag. I throw it in. I have toothpicks. I don't have to worry about searching for them. There you go. <laughs> so, and that about does it. This is a must have for me. Kristen got me this. This is a little ice bag for my migraines because I am a migraine sufferer. So she did get me this. So I do. T this is one of my must haves for sure. Personal to me. And that folks about covers it again. I'm going to have my little fingerless gloves in here. Let me show you these real quick. I'm going to take these because when you're viewing the glaciers guys in the Alaska group, it is chilly and I'm talking 30s and 40s chilly you guys it's chilly in there so I'm gonna and I'm a, a photo I love to take my pictures love it love it love it love to take my pictures and somebody in this group suggested fingerless gloves I was like I'm all over that thank you so I got myself a couple pairs of course they're a little blingy a little pretty and these have these are pretty so Amazon again I got these from Amazon I'll give you a link and I do take lanyards with me. I'm one of those, I don't have pockets in my pants. So I really, that's my dryer. Did you hear that? Sorry. Uh, so I 
used to stick it down in my bra, and I was like, this isn't really nice, you know, when you're somewhere and you got, uh, I'm like, I gotta quit doing that. So that day when I was on board, I went and bought a lanyard. These are the lanyards that they have on the ship, and they're very pretty, and I will take one of these with me too. I have one that's, of course, I love pink. So I've got, you know, kind of a fuchsia -y pink and a really pretty kind of lighter pink. But I did buy some from a couple of places, cheap ones. I uh, bought this with pink, you know, uh, beads. Isn't that pretty? But, you know, and of course your card hangs there. And then I wear this one too and my camera which lays lower, by the way, that's another thing. Be careful with your cruise card that it doesn't come in, in, in direct contact with your camera because apparently that demagnetizes your, your cruise card and you have to go get it replaced. I mean, they'll replace it with no problem, but it's still, you know, be careful. So I do keep them separately. I don't, I don't, uh, and they don't touch when the camera's hanging on me and I've got my cruise card. So. But I'm always ready to take a video and I don't carry my phone while on board, you know. So and I usually use my phone, which I'm using right now, for video. So anyway, lanyards. So I got these from, uh, this is an old Vera lanyard. Very, very old uh, chain with a ribbon running through it. Lanyard. I'm sure you could find these on eBay still. But they don't sell these anymore at the Vera site. But I did get a couple more. A couple more. One to go with my blues. <laughs> And one with just pearls, which I thought was just pretty classic, you know. And these cost me a whole $10.95 each. <laughs> and I don't think this was much more on Amazon, so. But that, uh, I think that about does it, you guys. That's all I have here for, oh, there's my lanyard, for my must-haves. And... This is what I want to take. I, you know, as I said, I'd gone through it. To be honest with you guys, I had tried to do this video during the week last week so that I could have it go, you know, so I could schedule it to be posted early this morning. This is Friday that you're seeing this. And I was so discombobulated trying to do that video. I was tongue tied. I couldn't keep on the subject. You know, I was mourning my uncle and I just couldn't, I couldn't focus so I just deleted that and waited until today for those of you if I might have worried anyone I'm really sorry I certainly didn't mean to worry anybody absolutely not but you know you guys know if if I disappear like that it's it's either something I, I'm, I'm somewhere uh, away from home or you know something catastrophic has happened like this I just I just don't feel comfortable posting out of respect for my family you know, you guys, I got to respect, I got to go with my heart, and uh, I love my family so much, you guys know that. They are my world, so anyway, I'm back. Uh, next thing I will be doing is probably going through my wardrobe in the coming days, and I don't know how long, that shouldn't be a long video, because I've got everything pretty much picked out. And I'll show you the shoes I'm taking, and the outfits I'm taking, which it is not a ton i'm taking mostly black slacks might take a maxi a couple cold shoulders tops maybe i'm not sure but but anyway i'll get to that this week sometime probably and uh if y'all have any questions leave them in the comments uh if you have any suggestions of any other videos travel videos you'd like me to do let me know uh, again check the description for any links if you don't see a link, that means I didn't have one to provide you. So, sorry about that. But some of these things, you know, some things I buy are not available anymore. So, you know, you can always look for something similar, you know. Sorry about that. Chris just called me. He's coming home. He was out and about. He says, I'm just letting you know I'm coming home. I'm like, okay. He said, what were you doing? I said, I was a video. And he goes, ah, I interrupted you. I said, it's okay. They understand. <laughs> So anyway, uh, as I said, my uh, wardrobe will probably be next, and uh, so I'm just going to shut this one out and just say, until next time, y'all take good care. Bye-bye.